This is uh, Jack here. Hi. Jack Light and it's Jay. Jake, Jake. No, just J A Y. 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 There we go. And that's his uh, uh, like real name. Yeah. So he's not part of the darkness, I guess. But I bring in the darkness. Okay. And uh, we are supposed to do this uh, sit down comedy in a park, but uh, except Jay, no one showed up. They all told me they will show up. I don't know where they are. Nobody calls me. So of course, as a comedian, what you need to do is to improvise. So what I decided, we are going just to do a podcast about uh, Jay's mental illness, uh, and uh, we are already, we already started a little bit. Can you sit closer to me? So we are yes. also on this camera. So we are both on two cameras. Um, I let's see. Yeah. Okay, there and we the, go. Uh, introduce you a little bit. This is the camera for the for podcast. Me. And this is the camera. It's another project I'm doing. Uh, I do 12 hours of live stream every day. Whoa. Because I'm inside. Okay. So since we now change it to a podcast, we are going to talk about Jay's alcoholism. Yeah. You want to start a little bit again? Yeah, sure. Okay. So my, uh, I have been sober almost nine years. Uh-huh. Um, I, I started comedy while I was still drinking and using. Uh-huh. Um, so the interesting thing for me was like learning how to become funny without having the like the crutch yeah, of yeah, yeah. of drinking for that's, me that's exactly and uh, uh how how did you realize you are out for it i had these moments there was this one summer the last the last time i got drunk uh-huh. was like it was a really tough summer where i was like getting a i used to black out a lot and i would uh-huh. get blackout drunk uh-huh. and then i was starting to really like have all these moments where i was feeling like it was getting embarrassing yeah. um, and it wasn't fun. Uh-huh. There's this thing that they say in 12 step programs sometimes where it's like fun and then fun with problems and yeah. then just problems. So yeah. I was getting to the place where it was like no longer fun with problems. It was just problems. Yeah, but but, but uh, was it like uh, you, you always knew you are alcoholic or was it uh, like a mental click happened? There was a moment, yeah. It was just like it started to click. It uh-huh. was not, I don't think I always knew. I think comedians... I think comedians, there are a lot of mentally ill comedians, like oh. may, like probably most of them. Yeah. Um, but they all, like for me, you know, anybody who's got like a substance abuse thing, if they're a comic, they're usually making jokes about it. So I definitely made jokes about like, oh, I'm an alcoholic, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think I actually thought of myself as a true alcoholic mm-hmm. until then I was like, oh, this is actually like a situation, you know? That was the that's the issue. Are you here for the pick of yes, yeah, I am. you know, like I thought you're not coming. We turned there it we into go. a podcast. Now we are back. Oh, that sounds show. great. Fine, uh, we'll, we'll do we'll do all. No, the we things. thought uh, we, I start to interview him about his mental illness because I also yeah. Wh- what mental illness do you got? Uh, I have complex regional pain syndrome, uh, yeah. which gives gives you depression pretty uh-huh. much. Um, that's the main one. I used to have anxiety, but dying a whole bunch, almost uh-huh. dying a whole bunch, cured me of that. Okay. So, okay. So, so. Hey, hey guy with guitar. So we have a, a choice to make. Since we started, uh, because it's a peak of French, so we should be sitting down telling jokes to each other oh. and riff. Okay. But because uh, nobody showed up, I, I decided to turn it into a mental health podcast. Okay. So now you joined. Do you want to make it a three-way podcast, or we do do stories? That's fine. And I, got, I got a podcast as well. Uh-huh. It's about. Uh, it's called Laugh, Cry, Die. It's, I uh-huh. hosted with a friend who's got uh, epilepsy. Okay. Uh-huh. It's about just the. The far side of health, you know, uh-huh. like there's the great facade that we all uh-huh. put up and some people uh-huh. are better at it. I, I never did a sweet way podcast. I think it's a little bit too much for me. So how about you guys come back to, to do a proper podcast? And today we still like a just yeah, tell a story. Just hang out, yeah, just yeah, tell, talk yeah, 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 come yeah, here, yeah. come here. Bullshit. Yeah, we need to longer. sit a little bit closer to each other. Yeah, uh, okay. great, great. Alright, now uh, we're cooking so, the gas. Uh, maybe I sit out of the side because I actually also have a mic here, so you guys can share, share a mic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Right, okay, now we're going. Don't forget your... I'm Jay, by the way. Hi, I'm Steve. Nice, nice to meet you, Steve. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So, uh, this is a uh, pickle fringe. Uh, basically, uh, I do this project because I was manic. 
<laughs> That's really no other reason, but uh, uh, I have a uh, uh, hundred forty six followers on on YouTube. Yeah. So statistically, nobody watches this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? I think uh, we can do a little bit of riffing, mm -hmm. telling stories, yeah, yeah. roasting each other. Yeah. You don't have to do material, but if you do, nobody watches this. Uh, also, you can do some like uh, just workout, uh, like. Uh, uh, do some new shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sounds good. So, uh, I, I guess I do some crowd work. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, okay. how's crowd doing? How's your oh, day? So excited. So good. Oh, my so gosh. excited. Oh, my gosh. So good. How was your day? My day was great. Mm. I uh, did got up and I did some stuff. Uh huh. And then I came and then I had a 10 minute nap in the meadows. Oh, like that's here. lovely. Here, yeah, um, the meadow, it's, it is really like Edinburgh's living room. Great place uh, to nap. Uh, Last time I was here, I napped here a bunch. It was I, lovely. Yeah, and also the grass here is so clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so yeah. clean. You almost don't see garbage at all. No, it's, well, you it like two in the, like, mm. it's four, between four and seven in the morning. Uh -huh. Yes, there's plenty. Really? But they do a good job of cleaning it up. Okay, and, the, and the way are you based? I'm based in New Zealand. Yeah, based in New Zealand. Yeah. Wow. It's also a quite a commitment to travel here. Well, luckily, uh, my wife is from Edinburgh, oh, and nice. my uh, in-laws live in Edinburgh. Oh, so you have free, uh, almost free accommodation? Yeah, it's like forty. I, I yeah. pay like forty pounds or something well, for a whole month. No, for a week. Uh, oh, I was for like, like food and uh, stuff. Say, so, hey Jay, can you move the camera a little bit so all of us on the camera? Uh, yeah, there we perfect. Go. There we go. Oh, now perfect. we're cooking again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there so, we go. Uh, introduce. This is the the show uh, camera. All right. This is the twelve hours live stream I do every day. <laughs> Wow, 12, 12 hours, hours live stream. 12 hours live stream. God damn. I told you I'm mentally ill. I have issues. <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> Moni <laughs> loves attention. Moni uh, loves attention. No, it's also. not uh, about attention because I have like a, a, no followers. It's more about uh, manic. <laughs> Just doing the thing. Yeah, doing yeah, the yeah thing, I'm manic. Thing, I think uh, uh, when I feel uh, like uh, unsure about the future, mm. uh, doing lots of things keep me calm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this yeah, is yeah. what you do instead of the, I think the thing that manic people do in the US is they're like cleaning their apartments all night or something like that. Oh, I also do that. Uh, <laughs> so you just never sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but the thing is, I also have depression. When I'm depressed, I can't move. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, when I'm anxious, I could clean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. There you go. Nice. So, you have a good day? Yeah, I had a good day. I, um, I went uh, to this thing. Um, so, I'm doing a show on the French, funnily yeah. enough. And I went to this like hit the ground running workshop thing and they oh. were talking about recutting your promo and resending your stuff out and yeah. I was like, alright, I go and I got up at eight o'clock and I recut my reel and I sent it out and I did a bunch of shit and now I'm on a twelve hour live stream promoting myself to hundred and twenty four followers. Because uh, I am living the dream. 146. 146. <laughs> Sorry. Your friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's. I, but this is the thing is like that. I like. I just. I like doing all the things. And as well. we. Uh, how many fringe have you done? I've done. This is my first Edinburgh fringe. Oh wow! But I've done a bunch in New Zealand where I live. Mm -hmm. Like that was my. Okay, how come it's the first time if your in-laws live here? Because, because I uh, sold my house bus. Oh. Uh, House bus, what's that? So my it's a bus. So you are homeless. You live on a bus. <laughs> no, I have a home. In it a just bus. was a bus. The oh, home okay. is a bus. The home is a, a bus. bus. And then you sold your home. Now and then we sold my you. home. Now I'm really homeless. Uh huh. Uh, and I sold my house, and so I had enough money to come, and I bet the family fortune on my show in the fringe. And the when, when are you going to? Where are you going to live after this? Uh, after this, uh, we're going back home through America, where my parents live in uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm from around Dallas. Oh, so snap. how come yeah. you are in New Zealand? How come I'm in New Zealand? Uh, my wife and I traveled there. Yeah. And and we were in a house bus and we uh, loved the country and we got back to Edinburgh and we looked around and we went, Ugh, this place is horrible. Really? You think Edinburgh is horrible? I mean, compared to New Zealand. I Honestly, I live in Nelson, New Zealand, right? Uh -huh. I wore more shorts than I did there in the first four weeks than I had in the four years I lived in Edinburgh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was like... It is, that. and it's the sunniest place in New Zealand. Oh wow! It is literally paradise, and it's been great. But 
but been there for too long now. But do they have job opportunities there? Yeah! And like... How do you make a living? A lot of kids' parties for a long time. I'm a magician. Oh, uh, okay. No, you look like the worst person to do kids' parties. You look like a kid on fire. <laughs> well... <laughs> Apart from all the sex <laughs> that I do with people, uh-huh. um, no, I when I wear I like a magician stuff. Okay, okay. I, are you so do besides kids entertainment? Do you also do adult? Yeah, no. So I do I do adults entertainment as well. Um, I do corporate gigs. Yeah. I do street stuff. Are you a clean stuff. comedian? Sorry. Are you a clean comedian? I can do clean, uh-huh. uh, but filthy is fun. But uh, you, 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 but when you perform at a, like a children's show, I just you... it's dick jokes for six hours. Really? I just I just get I just get there and I just talk about my no I don't I don't. But do is it easy somehow? Just it pulling just come dildos out? out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> like it's like an endless chain of and double handed dildos. Tear them is a drumstick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's I. I've learned to like keep it. I know when the switch. Like when I first started doing stuff, it was late night raunchy, Ugh, wagga wagga wagga. Oh, gosh, but yeah. um, you know. But have you ever had like a swear on a kids show or something? Yeah, every once in a while I'll say shit. There's a trick that I do where I mess it up, uh-huh. and it's like really funny if I say shit. And if you get the parents on side, you can get away with like one. Sure. One yeah. bad word. Uh-huh. Um, They'll but, even probably be like, "Oh, it's gluck. You, you can't say that." But yeah, but then and it's like, one. and then when like you know a nine year old hears shit, they're like, <laughs> you know, I had a show. It's like I think it's like a, it's an adult sex show. <laughs> and uh, I should hope it wasn't a children's sex show because that's <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> and and then and then uh, uh, pa- uh, 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 a a father. Showed up with his kid is a, a, a son, yeah. and that boy, he looks clearly twelve, and the the like the 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 father keeps saying he's fifteen, and I don't <laughs> think he's twelve, maybe like ten, eleven, more like that. Oh man! And the whole time we just talk talk about a pussy joke, and and it's only a woman show, yeah. So all the comedians just talking about. Pussy jokes for like forty-five minutes. That kid was in heaven. He was having so oh, much yeah. fun. Oh that's a, that's, God, yeah. Oh yeah. That's better than any sex ed class he's ever gonna have. That's gonna be like so. Wait, he's like taking he's notes gotta and take shit. Notes. He's like the clitoris. So okay. okay, so it gets wet. You say? <laughs> Go on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think the crowd is warm enough. What do you say? The crowd is warm enough. You are the crowds. Oh yeah. I think, oh yeah. I feel warm. I feel I'm, warm. I'm down. I feel warm. I'm in. Okay. Cool. So uh, let's tell some stories. Okay. Crack some jokes. And this is perfect. I'm just get. I just got a message that I need to 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 leave in a in a in a few. So in let me. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I you run have first. A stage time. I got about. I got about 15 minutes. You got to 15. Hang out. All right. Uh-huh. Tight. Um. Yeah. Cause well, I've got a thing to but mine's not till a bit later so I can't okay so all right let's go 15 yeah. all right all right so, tell are me we ready? Are we let's, ready go. Okay. let's go okay let's go let's go okay okay hi right. uh so i just got i just got married that's oh. my big thing literally about about three weeks ago mm-hmm. um and it was uh you got you've been married how long have you been married for i have been married for an embarrassingly long time how long uh it will be 15 years wow that's how a good that's a good you? chunk of time I'm 43 wow i'm i'm 43 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look time worn and haggard. Um, let me ask you: Did anything crazy happen at your wedding? I feel like this is a pretty standard. Something always goes awry. Um, we actually had a really, really good wedding. I think the best thing was that we had a spontaneous conga line. Oh, okay. Line? So it's like you know when you're in a in a party and then like everyone has their hands on their shoulders and like yeah they're going dun 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 that- hey. But dun, I thought that's dun, only dun. Jewish hey. people do that. No, it's, no, uh, that's it's, different. Uh, that's the. Um, that's where they lift them up on the chair. And everybody's in the circle. Go, huh? yeah, the so horror. We, we did the horror. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we didn't do that because even though I look. You know, funny. I'll tell you a funny story. Please. I was working in a restaurant as a waiter in London. And this guy comes up to me and goes, Hey, you're from Israel, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like, No, I'm not. And he goes, Really? Uh-huh. Because you could apply for a passport, like, no problem. And I was like, okay, cool, thank you. That happens to me in L.A. all the time, too. They look at me and they go, literally the first job I ever had, they go, you're orthodox, right? (laughs) No! You're part of the tribe. No, you don't have 
there? No, I grew up, I mean, I grew up in Texas, so we had, like, no, I didn't know any Jewish people at all. <laughs> I don't think they're allowed anymore. There was one, it's fun, weird, weird coincidence. Years ago, there was a, um, there was a, I remember on the news, there was a, like a, uh, a synagogue there was like a hostage situation in a synagogue but it was at my hometown and there were literally I there when I was in school there was only one Jewish family that I knew of at all and apparently the this was the same situation where it was just like five Jewish he, he picked first of all you got to pick a if you're gonna take hostages at a synagogue pick one that's more well attended go into the city not the suburbs um but I also didn't know anything about Jewish people at all like I remember I drove past it on my way to school it was, it was Temple Beth Israel and I was like who's Beth she sounds cool I can get invited I wanted to go to a bat mitzvah um oh! that sounds like a good time yeah but, but are you are circumcised anyway I am okay. but that's just because my parents are weird Christians who that's, I, it's who such just want to throw it's it up su- it's such a it's like it's an American are you, well you're mid Texas not quite the Midwest but like how old are Middle you? America. How old can I uh, I'm, I'm almost 34. I'm 34 almost next 34. week. Mm-hmm. So it's like the that kind of, they, it, there was just this phase where they're like, you know what? What if we just fucked with their dicks? Yes. And even though we're not Jewish, she's still circumcised. Yeah, that's that's ha- what it is. Have you have you saw an uncircumcised dick in I, your life? I have seen. That. I have. Yes. I've yeah. seen my. I've seen my. Uh, I have a friend of mine who's a comic who has uh, an uncircumcised dick, and it's big too. He's <laughs> he's. He's shown it off on TV. He did a naked roast battle for Comedy Central. Seriously? Like, yeah. you and Jenny, though? Yeah. You said no on TV? No. Well, it was the, the, you know, it was the online exclusive only content. Mm. But oh, they right. did, yeah, Too they did tape it. for TV. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to buy, him and his, uh, the other opponent, both friends of mine, they uh, bought Chinese Viagra because they couldn't get regular Viagra. <laughs> They couldn't get a, a, a one of those like fake prescriptions in time to get it, so they bought uh, a, a, basically gas station dick pills. And uh, that's a good rock so band. Name. Yeah, yeah, gas station in, dick in pills. Order, in order to perform, totally your sex tape. Well. Uh, in order to perform there, they have to have a hard dick. No, they couldn't get hard in time. But they just wanted, I think they just wanted a bit of turgidity. Yeah, they, they wanted, wanted to, like, to show off their best selves, you know, because they can't get the makeup department to like. You know, do anything down there. So they're like, we got to take matters into our own hands. But but I don't understand. I feel. Approaching. I'm thinking far too hard about this now. Sorry, sorry, money. So were they? They were thinking far too hard. Can we get far too hard for this? But but I feel like uh, with a hot dick, I can't focus on the comedy. And I feel it's funnier to have a, like a soft dick and it like shakes and you can like do this. See. Well, yeah, so- I, <laughs> I will say this: when a guy is thinking comedic dick stuff, it's tough because I think the guy wants to show off how big their dick potentially mm-hmm. could be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot more men out there that are than are growers than showers. Mm. Uh-huh. And That's true. The, so I feel like this is the move. It, 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 no matter how much blood you're taking away from your brain and your ability to be comedic, you gotta you gotta make sure your hog is rocking and hard. <laughs> Solid advice for naked roast exactly. battles. Exactly. Especially if Comedy Central is paying you to be naked on their website. How much they pay? Take the Viagra. Um, scale. They got a SAG day rate, so, you know, like 700 bucks. SAG day rate for my dick. <laughs> <laughs> also, a title of my sex tape. Uh, SAG day rate. Oh my um, God, that's so wild. I ask about the wedding stuff. Okay, yeah, wedding. wedding. So I, uh, on my wedding day, that was the same. We didn't. We were prepped for any, you know, whatever crazy thing was going to happen. We got married the same day that Trump almost got assassinated. Oh shit! Oh, and wow. it happened during our ceremony. Oh. Wow. So people didn't know because we asked everybody to turn their phones on yeah. silent or vibrate. And then people after the wedding we were like, yeah, oh, there's a really nice energy in the air like not my wife and I didn't have our phones we're like everything seems pretty chill like this is going great and then like 20 minutes after the ceremony one of our friends came out to us and was like I don't know if you guys knew this somebody tried to assassinate Donald Trump but and we're like that's people- why that's why everybody's having a yeah, trying to so relax. yeah but, but why people care about Trump almost get assassinated like the East they, that's the thing is that they don't uh-huh. right everyone's moved on like there was one everybody of my, moved on so fast right, there yeah. was a one of my memes because the Republicans were like oh this should be a big deal and it's like you guys said people getting shot was just the price of freedom yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's 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 People, do people in America already accept that Trump will win and uh, just suffer another four years? I don't think. Well, here's the thing. I think they were accepting that before Biden dropped out. Yeah. And now you it. Dropped out? You, you, you didn't know this? Did you miss this? And who's in the race now? It's Kamala Harris. And she's fucking crushing it. Yeah. And you think she can win? Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Yeah yeah. Especially she, she they got to pick. Trump? 
I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially they got to pick a good. Uh, they got to pick a good, really good vice president nominate. Uh, I think we'll find out that in a few days. One who doesn't yeah. fuck couches. Yeah. Do you think she'll win? I I I do. I think she's got a I good think, shot. I think there's. I still think there's going to be some kind of legal fuckery that they'll try, uh, right. and I think they'll try another January six. But I don't think the momentum. But but why it. No. why will she win? I thought that because Trump lost last time, so she, he prepared so hard. Plus the assassination, I thought he'll win for sure. Yeah, that's what everybody thought. And then Biden was like, I'm going to resign for the good of the nation. And uh-huh. everyone was like, oh, fuck, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's like, nice. Because right. everybody, I think, wanted that all along. Mm. Everybody, he, even he, when he started running, he was like, I'm going to go yeah, he said he was one term. term. Yeah, he was going to be transitional. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but yeah, I uh, so that was, because here's the problem. On the wedding day, you know, I got married. Uh, half of my family, or, you know, now it's our family, I guess, but it's, they're all Texans. They're all Trump supporters. <laughs> and I think none of, I think if the, uh, the wedding having to be more entertaining than the actual assassination attempt, that put us in high drive. Yeah, yeah, snap, snap. We, so we actually, we, at our wedding, we, uh, we had a cabaret for our show, because all of our friends are weirdo performers. Um, and we just had the best time. I had, my friend did a belly dance with a candelabra on her oh, head. Oh, that's great. Uh-huh. And then my other friend told stories, and there were circus tricks, and there was, as my friend did a very rude hula hoop routine to oh, my wife okay. and I. that? Hula hoop? She was just, like, basically shoving her ass right in me and my wife's face on our wedding day, and it wow, was the best. Nice. It's a nice. That, yeah, it was a nice ass. It all. That it was a nice, really friendly and that, oh, I meant, cordial. That, I meant rude as in, like, the British. <laughs> in the rude, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rude. Oh, yeah. how rude. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. So where where are you based? Uh, I'm based in Los Angeles. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I, yeah, I grew up in... Uh, in uh, Colleyville, Texas, mm. in between Dallas and Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. Um, we live in LA. My yep. wife is from New York. Yep. Very different upbringings. Um, closest, you know, she grew up right across from the Stonewall Inn. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, and closest thing we had to a gay bar in my hometown was the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> That's a good bit. Fair, thank you. So we're doing material yeah. now. Yeah. Um, I could tell. I could tell. I we're like, diving oh. right in. Yeah. All right. So that's your set? No. <laughs> I mean, but I'll pass it along. That's the that's a good closer. It sounds yeah. like we got a big laugh on that. Okay, that so. was fun. That was a good bit. That okay. was you. Good bit. Okay, that let's good uh, give it up. All for right, Jay. Yay, Jay. Okay. And then Jay leaves, so you don't live in the middle of his set. Ah, uh, okay, you? that's fair. Okay, it was a pleasure. Jay. Wait, do you have a flyer for your yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna oh. swap you. We gotta swap out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where's my thing? Fucking in August is so cold. If you, uh, if any of you watchers are here, come see Wrong, a fucked up game show Ooh. nightly until August 11th. Oh, I am so on board. 11:30 p.m. But you are way more good looking than the flyer. What's uh, going on? If you can also come see the unluckiest magician, one of these, uh-huh. yeah. which is the true story of. Oh, she she cut off my <laughs> ad. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, worst day of my life. Um, True yeah, story, me. You guys, okay. Nice. You want you want to see a funny tattoo? Yes. That's my zipper. Oh. oh. Why you have that? Uh, there's a whole show all Did about it. Did you have it. babies? Hilarious. Yes, I had eight babies. Oh, okay. Cool, no, cool, cool. Um, I did have eight surgeries though. Wow. Cool. Let's say bye to Jay and see then let's later, Jay. Oh, the Bye. show must go on. The Thank show must go on. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, okay. so, I'm legit gonna come see your show. It's gonna yeah. be super fun. Yeah, I come back wait. for a podcast. Oh, sounds good. Uh, let's. Cool, cool, cool. Let's start. Let's make oh, sure let's we are go. in both. Yeah, make sure we're in good. Make sure we're good. Yeah, yeah, we are good. We are good. Okay, so. So, uh, folks, are we ready for our next comedian of the day? Yeah, let's give it up for Steve. Hey, I'm here. It's so windy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm actually, I'm a comic magician. I'm who is also a comedian, and I do stand up, and okay. I do a lot of other different things. Oh, wow, you're so talented. So much talented. Yeah. I'm, I do circus stuff as well. Um, what a circus do you do? Circus? Uh, I do contact juggling. What's that? You know, uh, have you seen the movie The Labyrinth? I'm Chinese. You're Chinese. Yeah. You know, have you seen the crystal ball? No. <laughs> How to explain? Okay, I do. Uh, I do a really cool looking trick. Uh-huh. Uh, I do Diablo. What's that? The uh, the two sticks and the string. You tick 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 tick. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I do that one. Um, and the people watch that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, people watch me do that. I do it good. What's wrong with them? I don't know. Okay, okay. They're weird. And how do you find the people would pay to watch that? Do they actually pay? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I've okay. sold tickets to my show how and everything. How did you find out? Like you can do this for a leave? I um I was so I were I went to film school actually, and a friend of mine was doing it at school. Uh -huh. And then she took me to a juggling club, uh -huh. and I met circus people, and I was like, "This is awesome!" And then they were like, "You can do street shows, you、uh -huh. can do all kinds of stuff." And I worked in a juggling shop,、uh -huh. that was my circus school. And then I, when I lived in Edinburgh, I was a ghost tour guide for three years. Wow, you really lived many lives. Many, many lots. And I've also had all these. I've had eight eight surgeries. Okay. So I have my large intestine out. And then they made a J pouch out of the end of my small intestine. Because you want to lose weight? No, because my、uh, immune system、uh -huh. attack my large intestine. Oh, fuck! Yeah.、Uh -huh. Don't know why.、Uh -huh. um, and then the drugs stopped working,、mm -hmm. so they had to take the whole thing out.、Uh -huh. And then they my my intestines went sideways.、Yeah. They had a bag. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they reconnected. And then my intestines twisted around the scar tissue and burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I broke my spine. I've got screws、oh, in this、fuck. one. Oh, when? Yeah. Ah,、uh, God. When I was twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-five. And how did you feel? How did I feel when I broke my back? Yeah. Annoyed and grumpy. Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm still in the cameras. Yeah,、um, I was anno annoyed and grumpy. It's、uh -huh. that when pain really starts to build, it changes everything. You know,、yeah. you get you get all tense and you、yeah. get snappy and grumpy with your loved ones and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. So. Um, how did you like、uh, get out of this? Well, are you a happy person now? Like, like general, right, like right. <laughs> in general, in general, are you like a, I like there? I think everyone come with a preset,、mm. and、uh, depends on life situation. You、mm. can go happy or not. But、uh, I think some people they are just born happy. They have bad moments, but in general they are happy. I think、mm. I'd I'd say, I'd say I am. I found I've done a lot of like. Inner work, like I've had a lot of moments of being really unhappy,、mm -hmm. because like with all the surgeries, I have this other thing、mm -hmm. called、uh, complex regional pain syndrome. Oh. So I have chronic pain all the time.、Uh, still. Yeah. And how how do you cope with? How、it? do I cope? So I did a three week course、uh -huh. on how to change my activity to make sure I'm not doing too much. And how to、uh, change my medication, and like how to use meditation and relaxation, and I just manage it. And I, I it's yes and you know, it's that improv thing. It's、yeah. like yes, I'm having pain, and I can still talk to Moni in a park in the middle of August when it's fucking freezing. What is wrong with this barren rock in the middle of the North Sea? <laughs> What the fuck? Don't I like this、uh, this rock? I like. It. <laughs> it's a nice rock. It's yeah, a nice yeah, rock yeah, to yeah. visit. I'm、People、just. People are friendly or something. They are. They are. Scotland is much、yeah. is the best part of the rock.、Mm. Yeah. It's a real fairy tale. I went. I had a contract on the Isle of Lewis, way out,、uh, and it's. Like the the peat bogs, they go for miles and miles, and the sky is beautiful. It's beautiful、okay. out there. Great. So, are you going to do some story or jokes? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to do is tell you about horrible shit that happened to me. I mean, so I use a lot of medication. I use、uh, medical. I use say I use、uh, medical cannabis. I say medical cannabis. Oh, cool. Do you know how to roll a joint? Yeah. Do you have paper? No, but I have a vaporizer. Oh, I have weed. Then I. Oh, let's do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, yeah, we are allowed. We are allowed to do it because I talk with the people. They say if we have medical weed and we have a certificate. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom! Medical card. Oh, that's so cool. Great. So um, let's do this. Let's go. Wow, this is all right,、great. sister. This is a, now <laughs> now it's a podcast. Well, I don't know what is this. A tea? Is it a show? A sit down comedy. It's a sit down comedy. Oh, you have exactly the same vaporizer. Is it mighty? Yeah. Oh, I have I have two mighties. Yeah. A one tea, a plenty. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. This is German made.、It's、Stores in Bickel. I got. I inherited a volcano from a friend of mine who died of brain cancer. Wow, that's a sad and a happy story. And that's like my whole—that's like my whole thing. 
Um, yeah, so I say medical cannabis. I really prescribed it to myself. I was like, weed for you. And what, I did you? Do they actually can get a medical? Yeah, no. Th- this is actual medical cannabis. In, in UK, the, uh, yeah. Medical cannabis. This is grown in the UK. Wow, I did. Oh no, so not that one. That one's the my can. This one's the fresh stuff. Oh. But yeah, it's like pink Kush from That's so Canada. Cool. Because in Germany, like weed was not legal. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was not uh, able to get this. Yeah. But then it got legal. And yeah. Then we can get this. But yeah. I didn't know in the UK it's not legal, but you can get this. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's yeah. yeah it's weird. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, this is great. How many uh, uh, a gram you get from the medical weed? Uh, it's like 10 grams at a time in little a little pouch. It uh, works out about 8 pounds a gram, which is a little bit less than black market. Uh, um, you but see, like uh, this is uh, after it's your first fringe. Yeah. By the end, you realize that the uh, flyers have multi functions. They can do lots of stuff. The Actually, I got my first flyers printed on really thick cards so they would be good to roll spliffs with. Oh, wow. That's smart. I know. I have the big. I have the big brains. So, are you based in Germany, Moni? Yeah, I'm based in Berlin. No. <laughs> By the way, your fi- uh, your. I know. I need to clean it's it. Filthy. it. It's filthy. And I tell you a tip. I tell you. Yeah. Like this tip is not so expensive. Mm-hmm. So I just. Bought just buy new them. ones. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. But 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 a ton of them, and I just wash them in one go. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is definitely. Why, why you have medical weed? You are using my weed. I don't know. You just put it in. You're yeah. like, I have weed. Give me a bud. Give me a bud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have very limited supply. Okay. We go. We go. You're a small bud. Thank you. Go. you thank you. So that's uh, some nice pink kush. <laughs> thank you. Wow, this is great. So cool. So yeah. Um. So do you? So do you find that cannabis helps with your mental health? Oh. Because I have lots of mental illness, I have bipolar too. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I uh, and the depression. Depression is part of the bipolar mm. too, but I'm more depressed mm. than than the manic. I get manic like uh, my m- my mom has bipolar too. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, and also have uh, uh, like uh, uh, what else? Uh, ADHD. Mm-hmm. So trauma. Uh, so for for me, uh, like. Uh, Weed help help so much, especially like mood wise, it helps me. Mm. But especially ADHD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like my brain works too fast. It's yeah. Everywhere, and the when I when I smoke weed, I actually can it slow just down. Like, st- I can focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and what's really funny, I find like if you're someone like you uh-huh. and me who and you use it like for medicine and you have some and you're like oh cool all right now i've had my weed let's like do something productive and you uh-huh. do it with somebody who's a recreational spoker uh, uh, and they're like wait what uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay what? yeah for me it's like i take an edible i'm like time to walk yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and most people are just like Ugh. and and for me like i i tried the adhd medication i just it doesn't work for me i don't like it for for me like the weed is way better Good for you. Oh, it's so fierce. You wash this thing. I'm bad. I'm so bad about. Oh, I have also a tip. Like sometimes when it's too dirty, mm-hmm. there's a, like an express way to mm-hmm. clean it. Mm-hmm. Basically, you just heat it up without any like herbs. Oh, it. yeah. And then you use a Q tip. Yeah, yeah. And then you can just <laughs> get it off. Yeah. <coughs> it's for lazy people. That's me. So, what do you have except. Uh, are you uh, like mental health? Right? So for, so mental health, it's like the thing is, so when I, seriously, when I was a teenager, I did have really bad anxiety, uh-huh. but almost dying, when you almost die, you're like, well, I can't really worry about uh-huh. <laughs> things. Oh, by the way, I think we shouldn't talk too much about mental health. I want you to come back for podcast. Okay. So let's talk something. Okay. We'll talk something else. Uh, yeah. Um, we were talking just about, so the other one I use, um, magic mushrooms. Yeah. yeah 0.2 yeah. milligrams. Oh uh, yeah. Also medical? Not pres- that one's not like prescribed, but like so when I with so I have this complex regional pain syndrome, right? Mm. And when I don't have the the other thing and okay, this is weird, okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't have a large intestine. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And in your large intestine is your microbiome where yeah, all the, yeah. the germ the, the germs live, right? And your microbiome makes 98% of your serotonin, which um, I don't have, right? So I have a little bit of magic mushrooms, which are serotonin agonists. So it's just like a little punch in my serotonin receptors. Mm-hmm. And when I... It's already at as high as it goes. Oh, is it too high for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You you don't start with one eighty. No. I start with one. I start with two ten. Oh, you are you are hardcore. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> um. And do you take magic mushrooms? Yeah, magic mushrooms, just little point two milligrams. Um, and when if I don't have the magic mushrooms, it's not quite. A, it's just a little bit kind of an intrusive thought. That's just like I should probably kill myself. I I every day. Hmm. Do you take a magic? Mushroom, micro dose. Yeah, micro dose. Okay, okay. And you really feel it works for you? 100%. Mm -hmm. It really makes a huge difference. Yeah, I think it's just insane that uh, like this type of drugs are not legal. It's so good for you. I think it's, I, I find it really fascinating, the whole, that whole concept of drugs of abuse as drugs mm -hmm. of therapy. Yeah. Like MDMA was mm -hmm. for couples therapy. Um, you know, uh, Took, they've looked at like ayahuasca for alcoholism and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's nice shit you got. Is that from Berlin or is that local? Uh, I think it's lo local. Yeah, I think this one is local because we were not sure if it's legal to take our medical. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you ha in so in Berlin do you have like a medical card or can you just like go to the store and no, get it? Like it's a very new thing. Mm. So it just uh, started the 1st of April, the illegal license. <laughs> right, 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 right. 1st of April. And, uh, and now it's weird. It's not like the US. It's legal mm. everywhere. Mm. But it's very strict. It's like you can't buy it in a shop and you can't buy, uh, you can't buy it online. You can't buy edibles. You can't buy products. It's only wheat. Only it, just the flour. Yeah, yeah. And the wheat is legal in a way that they will not arrest you. Mm. And you are okay to take the, carry it with you. Uh, you also can grow maximum three plants per person. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy wheat, you have to join an association where they, they just like each person have three plants quota and yeah. together they put the oh, number yeah, yeah, up yeah, 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 yeah. and they grow, some people grow this thing yeah, yeah. around the association mm -hmm. and uh, you pay a subscription fee and oh every my God. month they give you five grams or something. Yeah. And then for medical weed, that's for recreation, okay. right? For medical weed, uh, because the most uh, now it's legal because uh, because uh, in the past it's really hard to get, but now because it's legal, it's easier to get a medical weed. Mm. And uh, but most doctors don't prescribe it uh, right. because they are Germans. Most of them are mm. conservative. Yeah. They don't want to get into it. So in order to get that, I we have to go to a website, mm. uh, do an interview, mm. uh, and uh, uh, do lots of questionnaire. Mm. And uh, once you pass it, uh, it takes like a week. They process the request, and uh, once they uh, they process that, they take you. Um, uh, then they send you a physic, physical physical prescription. Mm. And uh, uh, once you receive that, you go to the post office to post that physical prescription to another pharmacy. Jesus and Christ. then they will send you the thing by post. And because, of course, I'm depressed and mm. uh, ADHD, I couldn't do... Yeah, yeah, yeah get all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I need to do... It. Ah. And then the whole process in order to get the weed is like 45 days. Fucking hell. <laughs> so they leave... So they in New Zealand... Mm -hmm. It's, um, oh, sorry. In New Zealand, um, you can get it. So they've got prescription stuff. And my one, it's an online interview. And it's like 80 New Zealand dollars. And then you have an online interview with the doctor. And then it comes into you in the post the next day. Oh, that's cool. I, I think I'm exaggerating a little bit. I think it's uh, there's also similar service. Mm. It, they say it costs like uh, three to five days. But the thing is, the thing is, we were cheap. Because if you order directly from that website, it's like a nine, uh, ten, nine euro a gram. Yeah. Uh, and, but if you do this uh, manual process yeah. you, from another pharmacy, it's like five a gram. Mm. I, I did the... the I, I'm Chinese. I'm cheap. I like, <laughs> I like good deals. Okay, I like good deals. I'm like, oh, nine nine euro gram is not good deal. You know what's a good deal? Tell me what's five, a good deal. Uh, five, five euro gram. That's uh, a good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm like, okay, I want to save money, and uh, then turns out, you know, uh, I can't save this money because when the uh, wheat arrives, I'll be already dead by suicide. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, that sounds like a shame. I need uh, to run yeah. away because I have to go do another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I would love to come and do the podcast thing. I'll give you a sticker for my podcast uh-huh. uh, that I do. And then maybe we'll have you on my podcast. So that's my Cool, cool, cool. Podcast. This is uh, Laugh, Cry or Die. It's why we're also on brand for me. And then that's uh, that's that's my that's my show. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for having me. Bye, bye. <laughs>